pedestrians, welcome to the Gili Islands in Indonesia. In this episode, my travels continue as I learn about local types of horses and the organization that is working to improve their welfare. My name is Alyssa, and I am on a quest to ride every breed of horse. So come join me for the ride of a lifetime, and together we can show the world what makes horses so special. This hotel was $30. Good morning, we are here in Bali and we're about to head out on to a speedboat to go to the Gili Islands. It's as blue as it looks. You can walk around the perimeter of the island in just a few hours of easy strolling, but there's lots to explore and lots of great places to see. There are no motorized vehicles allowed on the island, so everything is done on foot, by bicycle, or horse and cart. Scuba diving and snorkeling around the Gili Islands is very popular and for good reason. So we got our gear from the Lutwala Dive Center and went right out from the beach. Okie dokie, so it is time for us to go and meet up with Horses of Gilly. Horses of Gilly is an organization that was established to improve the lives of the working horses on the island. I started gathering data in November 2015 of every horse seen, how tall it is, the weight, the markings, the body condition score, the age. And so now we have facts that we can go back on and we've put them in the spreadsheets and we can say, well, this is how old all the horses are. Right. This is the average body condition score. This is how much has changed from this time to this time. Right. With the help of Animal Aid Abroad, they recently hired a vet and now have a vet clinic on site. Here we keep all the donations. So the things on this wall are what I use for the rescue horses because okay. I take in a lot, I rehabilitate them, train them, and then I'll place them in homes. Uh, one year, five months. So they're purpose bred too, and they're mostly bred for racing and light cart work in okay. Sumba. And she's a lumbar horse, and they're bred specifically for cart work. Okay. They are bred to pull carts, that's what they do. Okay. Um, and they're really super strong, very resistant to the heat. Hello, how are you doing? I'm taking them around to take photo of Kuda. Oh. They want to know what where each kuda comes from, like what island. This is Bagus. Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. <laughs> so 
They're trying to learn about Kuda, Kuda the Indonesia. So he's one from Lombok, and you can see again more hair on the uh, pastern. Yes. Bigger bone. Okay. Bigger bodied okay. horse. Okay. <laughs> It's, it's difficult, you know, and we have to buy medicines. Um, we get a lot of medicines donated, but not everything you need, obviously. And we have to buy feed. And then because we do supplement feed for a number of horses on the island, we always are giving away bags of feed to people because they can't afford to buy it themselves. You're, you're accepting tap, you're accepting donations, that sort of thing. Yeah, any, anything, pony bits, yeah. head stalls, yeah. um, because head stalls don't last very long in the environment, yeah. halters, lead ropes. What's your, what's your hope for the next, like say five years or so, what are you? After the vet is trained, mm -hmm. which is working well now, yeah. um, then we're gonna work on the farrier program, okay. and we will just put into place a program that's creating quality trimming and quality shoes. And then once we get that done, then um, I want to put together a horsemanship program yeah. and start having lessons for the locals. So the horsemanship is really needed. Yeah. And if we get that, they're gonna be so much better cared for just because they'll have more understanding. Mm -hmm.